what it do, how you doing? I am back with another video. Today, E&E family, come cook dinner with me. So before we get into this video, smash that like button, hit your bell notification so that you don't miss a single video, and subscribe to the channel. So today, Sunday, I'm making a, another Sunday dinner video for you. But today, it's not the traditional, depending on the household you grew up in, it's not the traditional Sunday dinner. Um, today, we are actually having pizza and a turned up salad. So we're gonna get started with this pizza dough first. I'm making a homemade pizza, guys. Yes, I make my own homemade dough. Um, you can buy your pizza crust pre-made, it's up to you, but I like mine so made. So the first thing we're gonna add, and I use flour, but I use a bread flour. Bread flour makes your crust crispy when you cook it in the oven. Um, you can use your all-purpose flour, of course, if you don't have bread flour. But um, bread flour gives it that crispiness that you want. So it's going to start with two and a half cups of bread flour. To our bread flour, we're going to add about a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not actually measuring it out. We're also going to add some extra virgin olive oil. Um... I've never used any other kind of oil in my pizza besides extra virgin olive oil. So I do not know how it would turn out if you used avocado oil or if you use vegetable oil. I have no idea. The only thing I've ever used is extra virgin olive oil. You can measure this out. If you measure it out, it's about a, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I love me a little olive oil, so I added a little bit more <laughs> than a tablespoon. And next, so next we're going to add some yeast. This is one cup of lukewarm water, one packet of dry, act, uh, dry active yeast, and a teaspoon of sugar. You want this to sit until it poofs up like it's poofed up here. Um, and then we're going to add it to our bread mixture. So we're going to get that all incorporated. You can do this in your stand mixer. I do it in my stand mixer as well. However, I didn't feel like pulling Big Mama out today. So I'm just mixing this all up in our bowl. So next, I'm going to get in here with my hands, our best kitchen tools, our clean kitchen tools. <laughs> and I'm just going to knead it a little bit. Not too much because I don't want to overwork it and mess up my yeast but just give it a slight knead in my bow. So next, I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over my bow, and we're gonna sit this on the um, in a warm place. I usually sit it on top of my stove because my, I got my stove preheated for uh, to cook my pizza. We're gonna sit it on our stove. I'm gonna sit on my stove anyway, and let it uh, rise until it doubles in size. This is pizza dough, so it's gonna be about uh, 30, 40 minutes for it to double in size. Next, when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to put together this amazing turnt up salad. Don't go nowhere. So I showed you a couple weeks ago how to make a salad using the ingredients you had in your refrigerator. Well, baby, today that ain't the case. We doing an over the top salad, so. <laughs> I got my lettuce in here all clean. Um, this is romaine and green leaf, because that's what I like. To that, I'm adding some cucumber. Next, I have some, uh, I believe these are great tomatoes. Then I'm gonna add, I didn't feel like chopping up a tomato today, so I said I would just buy it, buy them like this, and if somebody doesn't want them, they don't have to eat them. So next, I got some bacon that I got really crispy in the oven. And we're just gonna chop this bacon up into pieces here. Chop it up into small pieces once we get it cut up. So next I have some boneless, skinless chicken breast that I seasoned up in my oven, I mean seasoned up and baked in the oven. So I'm gonna cut those up next and we're gonna get those added. I'm just gonna cube these up uh, kind of small, I'm going to cube them up. Uh, but we're going to get that added to the salad as well. 
And the last thing I'm going to add is some corn. This is some corn that I cut off the cob. And I cooked it in the skillet and a little butter. Added a little salt and pepper. Because you know you got to season every layer. So we're going to get our corn into our salad. Now, the tricky part is to mix this all together. So I got me a pair of tongs here. And I'm going to get in here and carefully mix this up. And this is your over-the-top, look at all that goodness, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Salad. <laughs> so I'm going to put some plastic wrap over this, stick it in the fridge. And when we come back, we are going to get started on this pizza. Don't go nowhere. So our dough has doubled in size. And you got to flour your board, y'all. So I use... The same flour that I used when I made the dough, my bread flour. We're just going to put some on here. So go ahead and turn your dough out like that. And I like to get it rolled in the flour a little bit here. And then I take my rolling pin. I don't pat this out. I roll it out. And I get the rolling. I have my sheet pan here. I'm using a sheet pan. If you have a pizza pan, that's fine. You can use it, but I don't. So I'm using a sheet pan. And I've got some olive oil on here. I'm just taking a clean paper towel and spreading it out. And then, this can be the tricky part, y'all. Getting this dough onto the pan. So put your, if you have, if you're using a rolling pin, put your rolling pin there. Put your pan up here like this. Just like this. We'll try to get it transferred over as neatly as possible. <laughs> Just like that. So you see how I have overage on my pan because I'm using a sheet pan. No worries, girl. Simply take this and just cut the overage off. That's all you gotta do. You can tuck it. You can do what you want. I just cut mine off. I don't tuck. So we got it corner to corner, right? Fit. Then we're going to take a fork like this and poke some holes so that our crust doesn't puff up on us. That's it. That's all. That's all you're going to do. So next we're going to get our sauce added. Y'all, I'm just using a jar of sauce today. Can I make um, pizza sauce? Absolutely. But I didn't feel like making pizza sauce today. So I just bought a jar of sauce. But we are going to season once we get it on our uh, pizza dough. So spread out your sauce. Get a little sauce on here. I like a good amount of sauce. I don't like my crust dry. Just get it spread out. So next, we're going to season. So I got some garlic powder here. I have some, I think this is, this is oregano. And I have some Italian seasoning. And I have some crushed pepper. Why? Because we like a little what? Kick to our food. <laughs> so a little crushed pepper, red pepper. So next we have our cheese. This is some mozzarella that I grated up. You can buy yours prepackaged. I buy it that way sometimes too, but I don't like the prepackaged cheese because of the wax that they put on there. So mozzarella, and I may have to grate a little bit more mozzarella. We'll see. So next, the last thing I'm adding is our pepperoni, y'all, because this is just a pepperoni pizza. That's a big bag of pepperoni, ain't it? I love it. So, Let's go ahead and get our pepperonis at it. And this is what your unbaked pepperoni pizza should look like. So I'm going to bake this in a 400 degree oven. We want our crust crispy and our cheese nice and melty. You already know what's going to happen. I mean, <laughs> I jumped ahead. Y'all been here before. 
You already know what's going to happen. When we come back, we're going to get a taste of this non-traditional Sunday dinner. You don't want to miss this. Y'all don't go nowhere. This is our finished non-traditional Sunday dinner. We have our pepperoni pizza. We have our salad that had all the fixings in it. It had the, uh, <clears throat> the lettuce, the great tomatoes, the diced up chicken, the bacon, the cucumber, and the corn. So I wanted you guys to see that before I added my dressing because <laughs> you know Lex loves a little ranch. Let me get a little ranch on there. But first, we're going to dive into the non-healthy portion <laughs> of our dinner, the pepperoni pizza. So, mm. Mm -hmm. mm. no, mm. I love a good slice of pizza like the next person. And this for homemade is top notch for me. You can buy your pre-made crust and make it well. You don't have to. I just showed you how to make a very simple and easy pizza crust, y'all. So let's dive in to our salad. I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything on here, but if I don't, you see me make it. <laughs> you know what's in there. So there's our healthy, delicious salad. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's nothing. Like a fresh handmade salad. This is mm. General Chang. I love it. <laughs> Make this for your family. Try these recipes out. They're gonna absolutely as I always tell you, E.E. &E family, I promise you will not be disappointed. But that's it for today, E.E. &E family. Like, share, and comment on this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. My husband's doing weird stuff off to the side, guys. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. The links are in the description box below. And as always, E and E family, don't forget to live a little and love a lot. Y'all be easy. Peace. Make this. They waiting at the door to get some food, y'all. So make it for your family. <laughs>